Hello everyone, today we're going to go over how to make a teleporter. So if I hit play, and I run over here in my little first person, and I hit this portal, I'll come out the other portal right here. And my character will actually rotate with it. So how this works is kind of complicated, if you don't know what you're doing. So I have a begin overlap using a box right here. So I have two boxes for a specific reason. So with the box right here, when the player hits it, they teleport. And it activates this code right here on be actor begin overlap. Then we need from the other actor, which is the one that overlaps with the box, we set world transform. And then we set up a variable, a variables right here, hit plus, drag down, and then type in the name of your teleporter. So I name mine teleport. And with teleport, I did object reference. And that created this little right here, other portal. And then you rename it to what you want it to be. And so I used that and then I got its world transform. And then I created a second box for it. That is directly where I wanted them to come out of the portal at. So this will prevent that infinite loop. So when the character goes through and they teleport to that new boxes location, it gets that look the location of that box and it sets the world transform. It grabs all three of the transforms and it warps to that box's location. If you use the, the teleport check right here, it makes everything warp at the same time instead of piece by piece. And then from there, you go to set controller rotation. After you get the player controller, drag off there, set controller rotation. You may have to check uh, uncheck the context sensitivity. And then you need a get player character, drag off of that, get actor rotation and then plus it by 180 and set the new rotation. That's what allows it to face in the same direction in the opposite direction as the portal. So that way when they go through, instead of facing the exact same direction, it'll warp through. If you want them to come out doing that, then you don't need the 180. But that's what allows the character to warp facing directly forward. So you need, you need uh, that and the other rotation in order for the character and the camera to be teleported and facing the same direction. So from the player character, you need actor rotation, the plus 180 to the Z axis, because that's the axis of this direction. And then from there, you need to set velocity. This will make it when the character goes through, they just stop in place. If you want them to keep their momentum, then you don't have to worry about that. But then you have other complications of figuring out how to get the velocity to travel through and come out the other end. And that's a lot of math. So from the velocity, you just set, you need to get velocity of the box. Actually, you don't even need this. You set velocity to zero. But uh, get character, character movement, and then connect that to the target, and that'll set the character movement to zero. And then I have set actor rotation, and this is what's getting my character to face the same direction as the camera. And I have that connected to the get player character over here. You can get a different one if you want, make it look nicer. And then I have it connected to the other portal, so it gets the same, it gets the rotation of the portal, so it's always facing where I want it to be. So, and I'm using 180, so it's facing the direction I'm wanting it to face. So using all of this together, it creates that ability to walk on up to the portal, and it warps my camera and my character at the same time to facing that direction I want it to be. This will work in almost, in most cases you'll need it for. And so, boom. I just keep going through the little portal. This allows me to use that that one portal and get everything worked together. So once you set that, and one thing I want to emphasize, once you set that that variable that is the other portal or whatever you named it, you actually have to use this eyedropper and click the other portal so that way it actually connects to it. So now I can actually take this one portal node and this one portal blueprint and I can actually set it right here. And then I can set it over here. And then I can connect these together. Boop. Boop. And now they work. Boom. Boom. See, it's as simple as that. Now it took it takes a little bit of knowing in order to pull that together, but I got asked to how to make one of these, so I went ahead and took the time to figure out how to do it. 
All right, so if you're wanting to be able to use it to just teleport to a spot like right here, you can create, you can have another one and it's actually much easier. You just have a overlap box. And as soon as they step into it with the target being over other actor, set world transform, and then you can connect the strut, the nodes right here. So these nodes might look a little weird. You have to drag off here, get world transform. Uh, it doesn't matter which one we click right now. You'll get a return value. If you right click that, split struck pin you'll get all three of the other nodes you can do another split struck pin if you want to go even deeper so yeah it's as simple as putting together a set world transform and it'll teleport the character over to there so yeah those are two different ways in order to be able to make a character go through a portal i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you all learned a lot from this this one's a bit more of a technical one i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you learned a lot and uh i hope if you like the video go ahead and subscribe hit like maybe uh helps support the channel helps to get the video seen by more people helps the more people learn uh, i hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, i hope you all have a good night